Hello and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to a brand new video. And this week on the old Magic Roundabout, we got a Matchbox. It's a Matchbox Jennings cattle truck. There we go. So we're going small this week. Uh, this coincides with the uh, DMC challenge for this month as well, which is a uh, NE 164 scale casting. So mine will be, it was supposed to be 18th, so mine will be a day late. I'm not going to do two videos, um, one after the other. So we're going to coincide them this month. Anyway, as you watch this go round, uh, I'd just like to welcome any new friends of the channel. Welcome aboard, thanks for uh, joining. Hope you stick around. And welcome back all the old friends of the channel. Uh, thanks for being there for me, much appreciated. Uh, look forward to your comments like I do every week. See what people say, what they come up with. Okay then. Right, let's get this off the magic, get it on a bench. Let's see what we can do with these pair. Here we go. Okay then, here we go. Right. Jennings Cattle Truck. Major pack number seven. Matchbox. Got no back wheels. But we have got a spare which got back wheels on it. The rest of it is badly corroded, but these are rusted. This end. So we'll try and put some WD 40 on there, loosen that axle because that's the end that I want to file off. This is the cab. The old Thames Trader. Look nice when doing it in red. This has got black plastic wheels. So. This is where we are. This is what we got. So, to get this off, you have to get your screwdriver in here. Try and remember rightly. Not too much that you bend it and pull that out like that. Yeah, and then just it should just come out that end. Now you might want a bit. Of, yeah, you could. Get file under there, I suppose. It might just lift out. There you go. Let's lift it out. Yeah, that'll keep that a tight fit then when you put it back. And just tap that straight. Your door just fits in there. You can see just fits in them riders there that's your door that's your back i'll just tap that straight yeah i was a bit keen with it i was a bit keen with the i was a bit keen with it there you go right okay so that's ready for the stripper. That's ready for the stripper. So is that. We've got to soak that in WD-40. So I'll put that over there. Uh, let's try and see if I can get these out now. Let's switch the old uh, grinder peg on. Is it going to come off? Or is it? There you go. One, two, What's that one. My apologies if you've got headphones on watching this. It's got a really loud. It don't take much to get these off. There you go. Turn that on. So there you go. Stripped. 
take the base off. It's a little rivet in there, a little post in there. We'll take that off so we can get uh, paint inside and out. So you won't be able to lift it up otherwise. I don't think it'll pop over there. No, it won't. So I'm just going to drill, I'll drill that out. And there's a little piece there. We should be able to just clip push that over there. That'll make it easier to put back on. If you file too much of that way, it'll be a bit sloppy, won't it? So I'll do that. And then we'll get it in the caustic. And I'll, you'll see it when it's uh, wire, wire brushed down. That's it then. We're at the stripper. We're all cleaned up. Come out very nice. Nice and smooth. Good casting. Not a lot wrong with that. The base. Base of the cab. Tailboard. And I, did, I took a few caster lines off. This is right one in the middle. Took that off. The one out the back. Took that off as well. So we're all ready for paint, primer and paint. We've got the fire on. I know it's summertime, but I had to have the fire on to keep an even temperature in here because it's windy outside. So there we go. Uh, I've got the wheels. The other grey ones, I got them off eventually without having to redo the axle, if you know what I mean. I managed to WD-40 them and got them off. They're in there along with the rest of the tyres. So this is the Dettol. So I don't know how long they're going to take to clean, but they're in there anyway. So, primer of paint. See you in a bit. Okay, then here we go. All painted up. That's the back half of the truck. And all the front half down here in the red. It's showing up a bit lighter red in the camera. But it's... A bit darker than shown on camera so that's all our parts tailgate everything else i've got the wheels over there the gray ones because you remember they were rusty and dirty i've washed them and everything else and they uh i'm just put a bit of gray primer on them now and i'm gonna give them a coat of gloss gray okay so this is what i use for the back half rover sand glow as you can see come out it's not too bad and I use the Fiat Racing Red for the rest of it. So you notice non-metallics. So what I'm going to do with this, I'm now going to put some details on. Now, I'm look, looking on Google Images, and I noticed that most of these red ones and blue ones had a white bumper, and then there was white as well. Just that line in between that white piece there was, was, was white. So I'm going to attempt to do that. So I've got some Tamiya white gloss. I've got my tub. I'm going to put some X20 thinners in it. Thin it down and see if we can paint this. See how it comes out. Hopefully it won't look too bad. So we're going to give it a go. Okay, I made a start on the bumper. So... It's got this little bit in here to do now. And we'll try it and see what happens. I forgot how tiny these things are. They are tiny. So he's got to be careful. Takes a bit of time. Eddie, Eddie. Steady, Eddie. It's 
should look quite striking when it's done. Don't hold your breath while you're trying to pull a paintbrush along. It don't help. Tell you what though, for a little casting, it's well put together. Well put together. Make sure it's still in shot. Yeah, it's coming on. Just needs a second coat. We'll do the headlight. Yeah, okay. Let me carry on then. I'm going to do the, uh, give this a second coat. I'm not on a bumper because I've had two coats, but this bit here, second coat, and do the headlights in the silver and the door handles. Yeah. I'll get back to you. There's no details to paint on the back. Nothing like that. Okay then, this is the cab details all painted up. I'm going to do the white. And I've put a bit of a black wash in the top grill there. It's not too bad. Done the door handles. And everything else. Uh, I've, I tried... I put a dark brown panel line wash on here, I thought I'd try it and see what it come out like. It's not too bad, not too bad. So yeah, well, I thought I'd give it a go. You don't know till you try, do you? Uh, I've put the axles on already because they're a bit fiddly. I'm not used to doing 164 axles, and I'm very careful I didn't smash them. So I put the wheels on on it, so they're all done. Scraped a bit of paint off there on purpose, there and there, because it has to go into that piece there. All right, okay, so get magic carpet out and we'll get the assembly done. All righty then, let's get this uh, put together again then. Put it to bed. We do the cab first. Now, I've cleaned a bit of excess paint off there because you know too much paint on and it won't uh, go together so hopefully that'll just push down there you go that's pushed in there we should be able to screw in there Screw it back together. There you go. That's back together. That'll do. Uh, I might have to do the same with this, actually. Just scrape a bit of paint on. Just a little bit. Off one side, do it on the inside. See if that's enough. Right, tower board's got to go in first. Make sure you put the bit on the outside. That bit, sorry, that bit on the outside. Push it right down. Make sure it's located. Let's try this now. This should fit in there. Should push there you go. Lovely job. Click. 
that's what we wanted. There you go. I want to put some tail light. I did put some tail lights on here, just there and there. That's come off a bit, actually. That has. Bit of paint's rubbed off. There you go. Let's just put them on there. I did originally use Tamiya paint, but it's taken a bit to dry, so. We'll just fill it in with this for now. There you go. Right. Let's connect her up. And we're done. Look at that. Right, I've got something a little bit to, to show this off on, so... There you go. So we'll do we'll do that first, and then we'll get it on the magic. Alrighty. This is what we started with. Uh, Thames Trader horse, horse or um, animal carrier, one or the other. Uh, yeah, it's what we started with. A bit of a mismatch. Had to make one good one out of the two. So have a look, see how we got on. Have a look at this. Here we are then, all done and dusted. Another one bites the dust, so to speak. So, oh, oh you turn the old turntable on, have I? So this week we did a um, Matchbox Major Pack Thames Trader cattle truck. I don't do many 164ths, but I uh, quite enjoyed doing this one, so I've got quite a few smalls down here, so I might do a few of them. This is for the uh, DMC challenge for July, any one the 64 scale or thereabouts challenge. So yeah, it came out quite nice. The nice red with a white front end. Uh, put a black wash in the grill. I'm not 100% keen on the uh, brown wash on the side of the truck itself. I don't think I'll do that again. Um, yeah, it's not too bad. It. Uh, be careful with it. Got the uh, tower board working and operating. So I'll get that back up there now. Oh, there we go. Put that up there. Got the rear lights on. Yeah, quite nice. Strange when I put grey wheels on the back and not black ones, isn't it? Okay then. Onwards and upwards to the next one. And next week is the uh, purchases and donations video. So uh, that came around again quick, didn't it? So I'll see you all again next week. And take care of yourselves. Enjoy whatever you're doing. And I'll see you again next week. So bye for now. Look forward to your comments.